Lego has brought us many houses for movies and TV shows throughout the years. In this video, we'll run through the top 10. Hello everyone, welcome to Second Brick to the Left. Here we talk about Lego set news reviews and tips. Before we dive in, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. This is my top 10 list of houses from movies and TV shows that I think Lego have done the best job on. If you disagree, please leave your top 10 in the comments. I focused more on houses as opposed to apartments. I was very tempted to include things like the Friends apartment, but a lot of the sitcom apartment sets that Lego have produced have the internal details and nothing really on the outside. So let's start our list. Counting down, at 10 we have Obi-Wan's hut from Star Wars. Item number 75270. This is the smallest set on this list, at just 200 pieces, but a lot is crammed in. It has that Tatooine feel with the tan colour and rounded roof. It was in this hut where Obi-Wan and Luke watched Leia's message and where Luke starts his Jedi training. The set reflects these two moments with a transparent Princess Leia hologram element and a brick to represent the training remote. It closes up too, which I think looks really nice. The minifigures are great, but I'm not sure I love getting a Tuscan Raider instead of C-3PO. At 9 is 4 Privet Drive from Harry Potter, item number 75968. As a Lego Harry Potter fan, this set should be higher on this list, but it only has 797 pieces. And while the front is impressive, the back could be better. It feels a bit too compact, and I think it would have benefited from being a slightly bigger version. Although we do get the cupboard under the stairs where Harry used to live, which is very important for a four privet drive set, but it randomly opens up to the outside. I don't love that. The minifigures aren't bad. The Dursley minifigures are as good as Dursley minifigures can be. I love Petunia's pudding, plus there's a Dobby. At number eight is the Flintstones. This set was released in 2019 and has an item number of 21316. At 748 pieces, this set is quite detailed. The Lego Flintstones house looks just like it does in the cartoon, with its curved walls and flat stone roof. It even comes with the Flintstones car. This set looks great from both sides. I love all the little details like the animal print curtains, the mailbox and even the TV. It has four minifigures, Fred and Wilma Flintstone and Barney and Betty Rubble. They look just like their characters. At seven is the Madrigal House from Encanto, item number 43202. This set would be higher on my list, but it's just a bit too small. It has 587 pieces, which is a great size for a set aimed towards younger audiences. If Lego did this as a large 18 plus set with all of the Madrigal family, I would be very tempted to get it. However, this is the set we have and it is really pretty. It has the same vibrancy as the movie with all of the different colours, not just of the house but of the flowers and butterflies too. Every room has a different colour and reflects the scenes from the movie really well. The house is magical and there are some interactive elements including a handle to get Mirabelle out of bed and another handle to make the shutters move. There are three mini dolls with this set, Mirabelle, Antonio and Abuela, although not my personal favourites, but they make sense. At six is 12 Grimald Place from Harry Potter. This has an item number of 76408 and has 1,083 pieces. I seem to talk about this set quite a bit on my channel. I swear I'm not obsessed with it, but it is a great set. The best part of this set is the magical appearance of number 12 Grimald Place from behind the other two houses. The back of the house has lots of details too, like all of the furniture and the black family tree tapestry. This set also has nine minifigures. If you want to hear me prattle on about this set more, I've got a full review video linked in the description below. At five is The Simpsons House. I'm not the biggest Simpsons fan, but I've seen enough episodes to appreciate the Lego Simpsons house. This has an item number of 71006 and has 2,523 pieces. It was released in 2014, which makes this the oldest set on this list. 
this set looks just like the Simpsons house in the cartoon. The Lego colour palette and the Simpsons colour palette align really well to each other. I love that the house can open up to reveal the inside and the garage even has the pink car. The minifigures are great. They have moulded heads so they have the advantage of looking exactly like their cartoon counterparts. We have the five members of the Simpsons family as well as Ned Flanders. At four is the house from Up, item number 43217. This set was released earlier this year and has 598 pieces. I was going to put this set further down the list as I'm very picky about the small number of balloons and the plain white mailbox. I absolutely love the bit with the handprint on the mailbox in the movie. But no, I'm going to give it a pass on those and it sits firmly at number four. There are a lot of details on the inside, like the pictures of Carl and Ellie, the Rainbow Falls poster and the My Adventure book. Plus, the colours of the house are great. We get two minifigures, which are Carl and Russell, and we even get Doug too. At number three is the upcoming Hocus Pocus, the Sanderson Sisters Cottage. This set will be released in early July 2023. It has an item number of 21341, and has 2,316 pieces. This house looks awesome with its 17th century design. The Sanderson Sisters Cottage turned museum is packed full of details from the movie, from the black flame candle to the spell book. The size and detail of this set earns it its third place on this list. I've got a video all about this set, which is linked below if you want to learn more. At number two is the Upside Down, the buyer's house from Stranger Things. This has an item number of 75810 and has 2,287 pieces. This house is one of the coolest looking on this list and it's certainly the most unique. Really, this set is two for one. You get a version of the buyer's house in the real world as well as the upside down version. There are some great details such as the wall with the alphabet which has a light up element that shines on it as well as Will's drawing of the mind flayer. The blues and brown in the upside down version really give it a dark and ominous feeling that contrasts really well with the brighter real world version. There are eight minifigures in this set, Eleven, Mike, Lucas, Dustin, Will, Joyce, Hopper and a Demogorgon. Plus you even get Hopper's truck. And finally, the best Lego house is Home Alone, the McAllister's house. This set has 3,955 pieces, and with that many pieces, you can be sure there are details jam-packed into this set. This house has a front and back, with flaps on the front to reveal the inside, as well as a liftable roof. The house consists of a ground floor, first floor, an attic, and even a small basement. Plus, there's Kevin's treehouse and the Wet Bandits van. The outside of the house is beautiful and has a few Christmas decorations sprinkled on. The Christmas decorations continue inside with more wreaths, stockings and even a Christmas tree. The Christmas decorations aren't the best thing though. Not only is this a fully decorated house, but it's full of Kevin's traps. There's a fly-in paint can, a droppable iron and a blowtorch above the door. There are a few movable elements too, such as the train with the cardboard cutout and the shelves in Buzz's room that Kevin destroys. This is such an epic build and the final result is stunning, which is why this set earns the top spot on the best Lego houses from movies and TV list. Well that brings us to the end of the list. Do you agree with my list? Should something else have been number one? Or were there any sets not on the list which you think should have been? Please let me know in the comments below. Well that's all for today, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more videos like this. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!